and he felt a sudden, excruciating pain in his eyes, stabbing like spikes into the back of his skull. He squeezed his eyes shut and gasped with the intensity of it, and threw up his hands to cover his eyes and felt the slippery foam trickling down both sides of his nose. It was spit. The dinosaur had spit in his eyes. Even as he realized it, the pain overwhelmed him, and he dropped to his knees, disoriented and wheezing. Nedry collapsed onto his side, his cheek pressed to the white ground. His breath came in thin whistles through the constant, ever-screaming pain that caused flashing spots of light to appear behind his tightly shut eyelids. The earth shook beneath him, and Nedry knew the dinosaur was moving. He could hear its soft, hooting cry, and despite the pain, he forced his eyes open 